What's up, my people? Welcome to Raw Boxing TV. I'm your boy Ranger Matos, and I'm here to talk about this fight coming up on June 8th on the undercut of uh, Chad Dawson versus Adonis Stevenson. Yuriorkis um, Gamboas versus uh, Darley, um, Darley Perez. Uh, pretty interesting fight. Although it doesn't excite me a lot, uh, again, like I like I like I said in my last Gamboa video, I understand why this fight is happening. Most of Gamboa's possible opponents either don't want to fight with him, or they don't take the fights, or if they do take the fight, they regret it right at the end, and then they just kind of prize themselves up so high that obviously they got to call the fight off. So I understand first come, first serve. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start talking about Gamboa. And, and you already know Gamboa. You already know what top fighter he is. Um, one minute he's aggressive and people love him. But because he's aggressive and he's giving in so much to try to excite the public, uh, sometimes he tends to get hurt and dropped and then criticism comes in. Well, then when he comes back into the ring and he becomes his technical fighter, avoiding to get hit, still dominating the fight, still dropping people, he still gets criticized because that's not the Gamboa we fell in love with. So regardless of what Gamboa does, he's going to still get criticism, right? So like I always say, you know what my motto is, right? Screw the fan. Do you in the ring. Ain't nobody fighting in there but you. Screw the fan. Uh, another thing that's going around Gamboa, oh my gosh, uh, you know, he's scared of Mikey Garcia. Well, let's sit back and wait a little bit. Mikey Garcia is from 126 pounds, right? Mikey Garcia doesn't have more name than Gamboa. So if Mikey Garcia is so uh, such a macho man and he's calling Gamboa out, it's easy. You got the youth and the size. Move up to 135 and fight Gamboa. How is a fighter that has more name than you, right, that's already cleaned out the weight division you're in, right, and move on up, how is he going to drop down to, to you to fight you when you ain't, even, you ain't even done what he's done, amateur or pro, right? Oh, but if Gamboa was to decide to drop down, fight Garcia and knock him the hell out because that's exactly what's going to happen, then he's also going to get criticized. Oh, well, he fought a much smaller man. This is a guy that's already fought at higher weight division. He's used to hit, getting hit by the big guys. He's used to dropping the big guys to so drop down and fight the smaller guys. So, like, again, it goes back to what I always say. Screw the fan. Garcia, you want Gamboa? Move up and fight him. That's that. Let's talk about Darley Perez. Darley Perez is a fighter who I don't know much about him. However, I have seen a couple of his fights. Uh, one of them against the guy that just uh, beat uh, Santana. Uh, but what I have seen, I, I kind of like. Uh, usually when you see a fighter from Colombia, most of them possess a lot of power. Um, some of them are some of uh, what you would call half, half, uh, half technician. But Dale is, although he's not a full-fledged technician... He possesses some tools that I like myself, that I like seeing in a fighter, which is every time he's going to throw a punch, the jab needs to come in first to open doors. And the minute he opens the jab, right, he moves back side to side and moving a lot of head movement, sometimes including torso, upper body movement. That right there is a big, big plus in my car, in my agenda. Any fighter that does that, can avoid uh, uh, getting hit. And that's the reason that he has been able to maintain himself uh, 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 undefeated. Now, in the pro ranks, he's the more experienced. He's got more experience than Gamboa. Gamboa's got like 22 professional fights. Uh, he's got uh, 28 uh, with 19 knockouts, I believe. So, in the pro ranks, he's undefeated. Boxing, in, uh, 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 he's more experienced and undefeated. Boxing in general, 
Gamboa is more experienced. Boxing in general, Gamboa has seen it all, like Roy Jones Jr. said uh, on the Nonito and, and uh, Rigondo fight. When you've been to the Olympics and you get gold medals, you've already seen the LeBron James, the Michael Jordans, the Kobe Bryant, the, the, all these, oh, everything boxing's got to offer, you've already seen it, you've already fought him. Uh, one, in my opinion, one of the hardest fights Gamboa uh, fought as an amateur that so far I haven't seen none of his professional opponents that to have such such good boxing skills was against the Italian fighter uh, Jerome Thomas. Uh, and even Darley Perez doesn't possess a set of skills and Gamboa just beat the kid. So, sure, you can go ahead and get back in the wagon of this is pro, that's not amateur. But when I'm talking about boxing in general, pro and amateur still involve throwing punches, skipping punches, and blocking punches. Am I right or am I wrong? I raised my case. So, I'm going to go ahead and give you my prediction. Gamboa, knockout, late round stoppage. Uh, me personally, I would like to see um, Gamboa fight just a little more often and quit hanging out with 50 Cent, man. Uh, I know he's your promoter. But you should maintain a line of friendship and business aside. They never mix together. They never mix together. Okay? Gamboa by knockout. Why Gamboa by knockout? Easy. 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 Gamboa has tendency that when, if you notice when Dadley shoots the jab, it's kind of like, although it's, it's a jab, right? It's a slow jab. Gamboa being the faster fighter, right? And Gamboa having so much uh, reflex, much more reflex than, than Darle Perez, Gamboa can simply just skip those jabs, time them, and work off of that. Little by little, you chop the tree, and you're going to cut that tree. But not only that, Darle Jimenez seems to have a weakness to get counter with overhand rights on top of his jab. And that's something Gamboa does really well. Is he going to just walk through Gamboa? Of course not. You know Gamboa is also a fighter that has speed, power, and Gamboa is the type of fighter that's going to come in, hit you, and move out. I wish he comes in as the, as the technician. We all know he is. As the technician, he used to be in the amateur. That Although he was a full technician, he was still dropping cats. Hit, don't get hit. Regardless of what the fans say. The fans, guys, this goes to the haters and the non-haters. If you possessed the set of skills this fighters possessed and you were in the ring fighting the opponent they're fighting, you will do exactly the same thing they're doing, which is hit and don't get hit. And then you wouldn't like it when the fans criticize you, right? So what happens... You're like, okay, well, the fans doesn't want me to be uh, a skilled for boxer, so I'm going to go ahead in and brawl it out. Then you go in and brawl it, brawl it out, and you get dropped. And what happens? You ain't getting no praise. You still get criticized, right? And then if you come down in weight division to fight some kid that's calling you out because he knows that you're not in that weight division anymore, he's just simply using the name to get more name, you're still going to get criticized because they're going to say he beat up a smaller fighter from a smaller weight division when he had already fought at a higher weight division. So that's why I always say, fighters, do you screw the fan? I'm a fan, right? But what's a fan? A fan is a fan that's going to appreciate whatever the fighter does in the sport, whether he goes in there to hit and don't get hit or to just tear people's heads off sure it's a lot more exciting to see two guys going at it desperately just tearing each other apart but it's also very sweet to see damn how he man look at what he's doing how how, how can he have so much skills look at that he's just hitting this dude dude can't even touch him back so screw the fan gamboa versus Perez. Victory for Gamboa via knockout. Let me know what your thoughts are. Subscribe to this channel. I'm out.